Okay, um, so here's where we are now. Um, after the 2 a.m. Critsit meeting, it seemed to be working. I got up this morning, made maybe 10 changes, and it seemed to be working. And then I was going to deliver it to the client. And then I said, well, let me check it one more time. I go into edit, and as you can see, I see the same thing that I had last night. The specified column group does not exist. Now, that's because this line is not running. Now, notice carefully that the display name is with a small d, which is what it should be for the graph API for my groups, okay? Now, that's significant because when I copy this and put it on a button, which will probably make it run, it's probably going to change it to a capital D. And that, I think, is because the my groups is not there. And IntelliSense thinks, oh, you mean display name as in a SharePoint person um, control, which is buggy. It should not do that, obviously. OK, so I put in another screen. I'm going to put in a button. So there's some timing issue where this custom connector is not working. OK, now note the small d. OK, it still stayed small, which is amazing, because a minute ago it went to capital. OK, and it's giving an error. Specified column group does not exist. OK, so let me play. Sometimes this works. It might not work today. I mean, right now, it worked a few minutes ago. Yeah, it's not. Um, Yeah, so if I don't get my groups, I've got nothing. Okay, let's go back and see if it changed the Ds. Aha! Look at this. It just changed the Ds to capital Ds, which is completely wrong. So I would open this again, and it wouldn't work because these have to be small Ds. Okay, so I'll go back here. I got... Oh, and this, now they're capital D's over here, too. And I think that's because the groups is not here. And so in the IntelliSense, see how you have a dis capital display name? And you don't have a small d because it doesn't see that the groups work. So let me put just this command on a button. Oh, great. Sorry. And see if I can just get that command to work on a button. I have done that a second ago and it worked fine. So it's very variable. So it's some kind of weird timing thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so I'll go into this button on Slack, put it in, get rid of the semi group. Now see, that doesn't give an error because that is perfectly fine. Because here is my connector, which I should have shown you before. Um, data sources. There's my graph connector. Green looks good, blah, blah, blah. Okay. If I go over here, aha, see, buttons, buttons going across. And that works. So now I have my groups, and note that display name here is a small d. So what I think is happening is when it doesn't run just arbitrarily, the code automatically changes it to capital D because IntelliSense says, oh, you must have meant, you know, capital D. Now let's go back here and see if it's make change to small D. No, it didn't. Let's go back in. Let's start here. Oops, button two. Button one. Still capital D. So then that kind of creates a cascade situation because the next time I open it, it's not going to work with capital D, so I go through, and we'll see what happens the next time I open this. You never know. Could be anything. I'm going to change this to small d's. Small d's. And now, since I have groups, I should be able to run it on the button. Because now, all the rest of this doesn't, you know, once it has groups, all the rest of this runs because it just runs off of my groups, say my groups. Okay, so small d, it's like four of them, small d, small d, small d. Yeah, so come back here, pop in, hope to God it's not going to change them into big d's. 
and okay they're small these now the rest of these commands should run on this button one now and it should work aha buttons going across and boom it works so that's the problem in a nutshell, sending you this video, putting it on YouTube now.